Hey right, guys, so <clears throat> this is Vegan Luna reporting again. And as you guys can see, <clears throat> I'm on my favorite spot, the beach, um, which I absolutely love here in Tel Aviv, Israel. It's an amazing place. It's so beautiful. And I'm very thankful to be here. Um, but I want to share something that I just did tonight. Um, tonight's my last night um, here in Israel. I'm going to be flying back to Kuwait tomorrow. But what I want to share is I did my very first Cube of Truth. For those of you that don't know what a cube of truth is, let me show you. So as you can see, the cube of truth is something where we explain to the public what's going on, how your food is being served, and we are asking you, you know, why not just choose the other options that don't have any suffering? Why not choose the options that are free from cruelty? Why not choose the options um, that are healthier for you? Why not choose the options that are better for the planet? Why not choose the options that are better for others around you? Why not choose the options that cause the least amount of harm as possible? That's all we ask. Very simple. So we were doing a Cuba Truth and I just want to be honest, it's my first one. I've seen a lot of Cuba Truths. I've watched a lot of videos. I've learned a lot from those things and I want to say it was an amazing experience. Now, I also met some people. Uh, one guy named Aviv. Shout out to Aviv. He's from Tel Aviv. Yes, I know. His name rhymes. But Aviv was super cool. He's like uh, Earthling Ed. If any of you guys know Earthling Ed, he looks just like him. Right? We think, well, that child should probably be looked after, right? We think there's something wrong with the child if they went to eat the animal. And yet when they grow up, that's precisely what they do do. They eat the animal, right? So why is it that we don't like to see children harming animals? Now imagine if every child that was born into this world, imagine if they were taught that the life of a chicken should be valued with the same respect that we give to the dogs that we cherish in our home or indeed even to our own self. Imagine if every child that was born into this world was told to view the life of a fish in the ocean, a fish they'll never meet, a fish whose life may seem inconsequential. Imagine if that child was taught that that fish should be allowed to live their life without human inflicted pain and exploitation. How would that child ever grow up to harm or oppress another human based on entirely superfluous? And um, he was awesome. I met this girl, um, Judy, from Australia. Um, she was pretty awesome. Um, she was very passionate. I loved her energy. Um, she's, she's a great, amazing um, vegan activist. Um, and then I met another girl, okay, um, which, I mean, I'm recording this right now, but I forget her name 100%, but I can describe her perfectly. She's from Canada. Um, she's super nice. She was amazing. She helped me. She offered me a ride home. She let me know where an amazing vegan shawarma is awesome vegan shawarma which I don't even remember the name of the place but it was delicious 
and um, you know we we talked to this guy and and this guy was really interesting I wish I wish I had recorded this because he was just something else where his excuse now listen to this this is the first time honestly I've ever heard this excuse and I've heard them all lines though um, where you get your protein um, what about B12 what about this what about that whatever this guy said listen to this this guy said that the reason why he can't go vegan is he needs a vegan girlfriend if he had a vegan girlfriend she could persuade him and convince him to go vegan i said why not you just be a vegan and then get a vegan girlfriend or be vegan and convert your vegan girlfriend and then i compared a situation that i know a friend um you know he explained this to me so basically said that he was dating this girl and she was a meat eater and they were dating and she wanted he wanted to convince her to stop eating meat so he was sharing things with her like documentaries he even this fool even started cooking food for her cooking food that she would like that she would enjoy that tastes great and showed her that that's just you know you can have amazing tasting food and not have animals in it it's okay and also um, he, they also watched like documentaries together and stuff like that. So because they were together, watch, sharing something and experience together, because they had that food together, I think that makes a difference. And I just wanted to say that that's an, a very, a very interesting excuse um, that you need a vegan girlfriend. But bro, what does that have to do with you? What about your actions, bro? Like you got to think about this. Like your actions aren't aren't just affecting you. They're affecting other people's lives, other animals' lives, the planet the well-being of our earth like there's a lot of things that it affects so it's not just you so if you guys eat meat if you eat cheese if you eat eggs if you eat dairy just please consider you know just please reconsider because it's just not necessary and i learned that so much you know by doing this cuba truth by talking to people in outreach by really spreading you know what this is all about just causing the least harm uh, the least amount of harm as possible yeah. got to make a change it's time for us as a people to start making some changes Let's change the way we eat, let's change the way we live And let's change the way we treat each other You see the old way wasn't working so it's on us to do what we gotta do to survive